In this video, I will walk you through the steps of using Mel Merge in Word to create address labels like these with a list of addresses in Excel. Here I have a list of addresses in Excel. These are fictional and based on a popular TV series. The important thing to remember with your data source is to remove any blank rows. So let's delete this one and you should avoid having any text above your column headings. So I'm going to delete these two rows as well. Make sure your list of addresses are split into columns like this. And these will be used as your merge fields when we come to do the mailing labels. So let's jump over to Word now. In Word, go to the Mailings tab and then go to Start Mail Merge. Select Labels. The first part of the screen is where you select your printer setup. So I tend to put my labels into a tray. So default tray is fine with me. Next, you select the make of label that you have. This will be on the packaging. So there's lots of different ones to choose from. Uh, in this example, I'm going to go for A3, A4, A5. And then next, you choose the product number. There's a long list to choose from. Uh, on the right here, it gives you some label information just so you can just double check that you've got the right one. Uh, but I'm happy with this, so I click OK. And this brings through uh, a table layout for my, for my labels. The next thing you need to do is connect your data source. So to do this, we go to Select Recipients. To select your Excel file, we're going to go to Use an Existing List. And here I have my Gotham data source. And then I click Open. By default, it's selected this option, which is great. But if you click here on Show All, it gives you other options to choose from. Uh, but the first option is fine uh, for our Excel spreadsheet. So on this screen, we're just selecting which sheet the addresses are on. So this data source only has one sheet, which is great. Um, and then the other thing to look out for is this option here, where it says first row of data contains column headings. So just make sure that one's ticked and then click OK. So you'll notice now that we've got these buttons here that have become activated, and that's because our data source is connected. The next thing to do is to insert our Mel Merge fields, which are our column headings that are in the spreadsheet. So there's different ways we can do this. So one way is to go to Insert Merge Field, and that will give all the column headings that are in our Excel spreadsheet. You could build your address label using these one by one. But another way to do it, which is quicker, is just go to Address Block. This will have the layout for you already. But there are different formats that you can choose from this list here, but I'm happy with this one, so I'm just going to click OK. It pops in an Address Block. I click Preview Results. You can see that the address will only appear in the first label. We need it to appear in these labels here. A quick way to do that is just to click Update Labels and it should pull that address block across to the other cells. Now, if you're working with an older version of Word, then you might not have this option, so you may need to copy and paste this address block. But hopefully you have this option because it makes it so much easier. So let's click on Preview Results again. There's our addresses, which is great. The next thing to do is go to Finish and Merge. There is an option here to go straight to the printer, so this will just print it off straight away. But personally, I always prefer to go to Edit Individual Documents. On this screen here is where you choose how many records you want to merge. So you've got three options here. So you can do all the current record, which would be this page here, or you can choose a range. For this example, I'm going to go for All. Here I have my address labels. And then from here, I can simply go to File and Print. Watch this next video to learn how to use Mail Merge with emails. I will see you there.